forget delivery, you can make pizza at home with this super easy pizza dough recipe. First pour 3 quarters of a cup of warm water into a small bowl. The temperature should be around 98 degrees Fahrenheit or 36 Celsius and it's important because you're next going to add active dry yeast which needs warmth to activate. Adding half a tablespoon of sugar gives the yeast something to feed on which will speed up the process. After a little mix and a few minutes of resting, you should see lots of frothy bubbles form on top. This means the yeast is awake and ready to use. In a large bowl, mix together 2 cups of all-purpose flour, half a tablespoon of sugar, and salt with a whisk, then gently mix the yeast mixture and pour it in. Use your hands to bring a shaggy dough together. Don't worry if at first it seems too dry, just keep working it and kneading it until it holds together, and it will. If it still feels a little dry, you can always add a bit more water and continue kneading until the dough is smooth and elastic. This needs to rest now, so gently form the dough into a ball, then transfer to a large bowl and drizzle with a little olive oil. Roll the dough around in the oil so all sides get a good coating, then tightly cover with plastic wrap and place in a warm spot for about an hour or until it has doubled in size. After it's risen, punch the dough down to release the air and you're ready to make pizza. This recipe is enough to make two medium or one large pizzas. Shape your dough into a rough circle, then on a generously floured surface, use a rolling pin to shape the dough into a thin circle. You can then spin the dough in your hands to perfect the shape and thickness. If you're feeling brave or fancy, you can even throw it up in the air like the pros. Just make sure you catch it. Transfer the dough to a pizza tray or even just a regular baking sheet, and gently fold the edges inwards to form a thicker crust. Drizzle the top with olive oil and use a pastry brush to spread it out in a thin, even layer. Now poke holes in the bottom with a fork. This will prevent the bottom from bubbling up, so if you prefer a bubbly crust, feel free to skip this step. You could add your sauce and toppings now, but we decided to give the dough one more quick 10 minute rest to help the crust rise a little. Top with your favorite pizza sauce, it's totally up to you how much or how little you use, just make sure it's got a nice even layer. We went with the classic and only added a big handful of mozzarella cheese as our topping, but this is your pizza, so add whatever you want. Bake in a preheated 450 degree oven for 12 to 15 minutes or until golden brown. Congrats, you just made pizza from scratch. Now enjoy it and subscribe to Dished for more basic recipes.